Hopefully I do this in a manner that uh, I can go back and edit. But um, so when, what is it? Thursday night uh, at the end of class, Veronica came up and asked me a question. This doesn't really have much to do with the question, just formatting a formula. And um, I'm still trying to go back mentally to this last spring where there was an issue when I was entering formulas and this negative sign, for instance, was causing me a problem. So here I have a parabola, x squared minus 6. So um, what I've done is I have not yet entered the formula. Notice that it's just 6 here, and it's 6 all the way down. So when I graph it, I get this line, right? So um, let's see if I can make this small so I keep the formula showing up on the screen. That's a little better. So uh, what I want to do is try to change this. I'm going to enter this formula as is. So I'm going to type in equals the input, and I'm going to square it, and I'm going to subtract 6. Okay, so now I'm going to copy that down, and it's going to look like a parabola as we expect it to in the graph. Okay, so there we go. So now, now in this column, I'm going to type in um, equals, and I'm going to type in negative x squared minus 6. Now it should be much the same except it's going to be inverted. So I'm going to type in equals negative x squared minus 6. Oops, I'm an idiot. Sorry about that. Let's go in and make sure I'm referencing this, spot, this uh, cell. And I still get 94. So typing it in as negative a squared, the input, is not going to work. It is not going to work. It's going to give me the exact same parabola here where we know that this parabola should be inverted, right? And even if um, even if I were to change this to a positive 6, uh, it's still going to be positive. It's just going to be shifted differently, right? So all of these negative x's end up being positive, and all these positive end x's end up being positive. And if we graph it as well, we'll see that um, we'll see that it also looks exactly the same. And we'll work with these two columns, I believe. Um, so I'm, I'm doing this visually and making a video because I want all of you to see it and understand how we need to enter this and fix this thing that's going on. It's not necessarily your, it, it's definitely not your fault. Um, and if we have some wrong answers in the past because of it, or for instance on the test, then uh, that's, I have to adjust for that because that's, it's not your doing. At least that's what I believe. Okay? So, um, that's those two. And notice how it's still wrong. It's not, this function does not look this function here, this negative x squared plus 6 should not look like that. It should be upside down. It should be inverted. It should look like this. So let's try to change this um, so that it does exactly what we intended to do. So now we're going to put parentheses around it. So that's what I'm going to type in. So I'm going to change this so that my first variable, the x, well, it's the only variable, the way I've written this parabola, is going to be encapsulated by parentheses. And so it should do the squaring first and then apply the negative sign, right? should square this first, which should do what's in here first, then square it, and then apply the negative sign. So it really doesn't understand what the hell to do with this negative sign. <clears throat> if I have a negative 2, for instance, it, will, it, it won't know for clear, clearly will not know, and it yells at me. But when the negative sign's there, it doesn't yell at me. Okay? So let's see if it, it adjusts it correctly when it says, hey, I'll, I'll fix it for you. You let me know if, it, if this is what you want me to do. And it puts the, my, the multiplication sign in there. You know, when I take this out, it's not going to know what to do, I'm guessing. No, it doesn't. So let's see. If it takes out the multiplication sign, if that's what it does, 
versus removing the negative sign. Now, if I put a 1 in here and multiply, now it knows what to do. And it's going to be exactly the same as the other one, except it's going to be inverted. And that's what we wanted. So um, from here on out, if you have a negative sign in front, you don't need to mess with, I don't know if you don't need to do it, mess with parentheses. I believe you don't. Let me see if I remove these. Will it matter? It shouldn't change. Yeah, it's okay. So it's really this whole, if I have something being multiplied out in front, even if it's just a negative sign, technically that's telling me I'm multiplying a negative one, right? Um, except lazy mathematicians, we don't want to write all this stuff. We just want to say, hey, negate this. Put a negative sign in front of it. Change its sign, whatever you want to call it, or however you want to phrase it. But um, in Excel, it has, you have to explicitly tell it. So this part right here, this is what you need to do uh, in order to do that correctly. So I think Thursday night we had a formula that had a negative sign in front. I have no idea. I didn't go back and look. Uh, I deleted the file because it was on the other computers at, at school. So I did not take the time to go back and look to see if that answer is correct or incorrect. You're going to have to, um, if you're interested, you're going to have to go back and look. I'm not, I'm not greatly interested in the past here. Um, your homework problems, if I've done them incorrectly, I've done them incorrectly, I've graded them per my incorrectness. Um, if you have something that you believe is correct and I marked it wrong, um, you can yell at me and I'll go back and look at it. If you believe, uh, and and if if you've done it incorrectly, and I've also done it incorrectly because of this, um, then uh, you're you should be fine because I marked it as correct. But from here on out, we have to do this correctly. All right, I, mostly because I don't want you to go out in the world and try to do math and come up with wrong answers. All right, so. Uh, please, please, please um, remedy this in your workings. Uh, again, I apologize. Uh, I think I mentioned something like having to put the negative one in front of there. And I think most of the time I have, but I can't recall because, well, as, as you know, I'm somewhat feeble-minded. All right. Have a good afternoon. I will see you uh, this week.